What's up guys, welcome back. I'm back. Me and my mom have been ill with the flu, so there's that. That's why I have been very inactive. I've posted those comments in the community section explaining how I've been ill and I've not wanted to do a single thing, including be on my phone. But anyway, we are back three weeks later, possibly, with a new car review. Now, in the previous videos, which were a long time ago at this point, I said that someone said that they wanted to see a car review of the Peugeot 2008, which is this car here, and the Peugeot 3008, which will be next week. And so here is that comment by Leo Phoenix, so shout out to them for the Peugeot 2008 and the Peugeot 3008. So let's get into the review. So the exterior, well, oh my god, Peugeot, finally amazing just look at this grill look at the lights it's got the fangs of a lion it's got the three claws in the daytime running lights as well it just looks so aggressive and so good and i like that silver strip that runs at the bottom and oh my god it looks so good and they even put 2008 just at the tip of the bonnet it looks so good the side I don't know what to say, it looks good, there are a lot of cool angles and cool lines and creases. I like that silver strip as well, that black C-pillar I don't know about. Also something I will say is that rear bumper does protrude quite a bit. It does make it look a bit hideous, I will say that. The rear, well, it's got the three lion strikes. As tail lights that looks pretty cool Peugeot is written out and it's a black bar which I guess I'm okay with I'm not sure and then you got that huge huge bumper with those fake exhausts oh my god those are absolutely hideous as usual as usual we know we do not like them <laughs> however compare it to the piece of <laughs> that Peugeot used to give us this is the old 2008 and, well, it's a humongous difference, I will tell you that now. The interior, well, it is a very, very cool design. I will give you, give you, give you that. It just looks so cool. You've got digital cockpit. You've got cool buttons where the hazard lights are. And all the other buttons. And you've got LED strips that run across. You got a weird gear lever. It just looks so cool and it it's got so many creases and everything. However, there's two problems I have with this interior. First one being modern Peugeot design. It's hard to see the gauges depending on how you have your steering and your seat. If you have them at a certain position, they will be blocked like this and you will struggle to see what the hell is going on and also you have to do the climate control within the screen and that is one button too much for effort and distraction on driving the road the performance well it has a 1.2 litre three cylinder petrol and a 1.5 litre four cylinder diesel the 1.2 has three power outputs and the 1.5 has two power outputs this is for the UK market other markets may differ but I am basically going to show you the specs for the highest power version of each engine so the first one is the petrol one we have a 1.2 liter inline three cylinder 152 horsepower and 177 pound feet of torque it weighs roughly at 1200 kilograms and it comes only with a 8 speed automatic 0 to 60 is under 8 seconds at 7.9 and the top speed is just under 130 at 129 miles an hour. And for the highest powered diesel, we have a 1.5 litre inline 4 cylinder, 108 horsepower and 184 pound feet of torque. Weighs the same at 1200 kilograms roughly and comes with a 6 speed manual gearbox. 
0 to 60 is 10.2 seconds and the top speed is 112 miles an hour. I will note that both these engines have turbochargers on them. Practicality? Well, it comes with a 434 litre boot, which I have to say is pretty decent for a small compact crossover thing like this. However, let me put it to you like this. The Renault Captor has a smaller boot. However, you can move the back seats back and forward. So when the seats are forward, you have more space. However, when you have them back, there's less. So the seats could move, it could be very beneficial. However, it is still, still a big boot. The rear leg room was also decent and so was the headroom. Obviously, if you are like six foot million, you are gonna struggle. However, it could just about be bearable for short journeys or if you are a kid or a teenager. Handling? Well, the Peugeot could hold its own when it came to corners. It handled decently well for a compact crossover SUV. However, one thing to note is that potholes can be felt. Now I know you're probably thinking, well, obviously you're gonna feel potholes, it's how it works. But here's what I mean. Yes, you feel potholes in cars, but this is extremely noticeable because it has slightly stiff suspension. So I will have to mention this, which I have already done anyway, moving on. Is there anything else worth noting? Well, modern Peugeots have decent reliability compared to the old that we used to get. They were terrible. I mean, if you look at the 207 I reviewed, reliability was also in the anything else section, except it was bad news. And it's bad news. <laughs> but this, it's not the best reliability. It's not a Toyota. It's not a Lexus. I will give you that. Neither is it a Honda. However, it has improved massively and that is good. And there is no four-wheel drive version of the Peugeot 2008. However, they do have a system that does make the two-wheel drive system a little bit better off-road. So you're not completely stuck and they have fought something through. They haven't been completely lazy with it. So what is the verdict? Well, the pros are it has a big boot space. There are various engine power outputs. The exterior design is so cool, so is the interior. The reliability has been improved. You have decent legroom and good headroom, and the handling is pretty noble. However, the cons are potholes can be felt. The steering wheel is in an awkward placement. The fake exhausts are a no-go, absolutely no. The rear bumper sticks out like a big chin, like Peter Griffin and his double chin. And the climate control buttons. There's no buttons, it's all in the screen. It's awful, I don't like that. But anyway, that includes my review of the Peugeot 2008. Again, shout out to Leo Phoenix for giving me these two cars to do. But we still got next week's car, which I'll show in a minute. Not that it matters. If you would like to check out my main channel. <laughs> oh, bye bye. Or not. Darren, you're stupid. Yeah, we can see. Oh, oh. No, no, Darren. No, he's not okay. He's a bloody idiot. Then I will leave a link to that in the description below. And I have been inactive on that as well. Obviously, from being ill, I'm not wanting to do anything. So, videos will be coming back soon. So, keep an eye out for that. And the next review is the 3008, which is this. This is what it looks like. So, there's that. But anyway, I will see you guys with this video next week. If I'm not ill, hopefully I'm not. Peace.